To do the fur on the hat band, um, you can use either a sea sponge or a deer foot brush or even a kitchen sponge works if you want to cut up some little pieces. You really only need one piece, maybe two. Uh, what I do is I base coat first the, the hat band with white as you see in the directions. Then when that's dry, I take a piece of my sponge or I take my deer foot brush and I I put it in the white paint and I rub it around. I pat some off on a paper towel and then I dip it into my slate gray paint and I pat some of that off and then I pounce what I consider pouncing. You're not really painting in strokes but you're just pouncing on, you know, dabbing all over and make sure that for this layer that you get a lot of the gray on the sides of the hat band and that will automatically shade it. Now what I'll do sometimes, I'll, if there's um, a lot of extra paint on there, I'll take it off on the <coughs> excuse me, paper towel and then you want to dip it into some buttermilk. You do this all while everything is wet for the first few minutes, okay? So you dip it into some buttermilk and then you go in and you, you dab it into the, the gray and the white that you have on there. Everything is wet and it's all smooshing around real nicely. And then you want to let it dry. And then you want to um, clean out your brush and go back and pick up some white and when the hat band is dry now and you've got a clean white brush with or sponge and you dab that on top of everything you just did then you want to pick up some gray and you can your sponge can still be wet or your brush and pick up a little bit of gray you don't want a lot of gray and just dab it here and there okay and you just go back and forth and do this with the gray the white and the buttermilk you can even put the buttermilk on there again if you feel like you covered too much of it up after the second layer or whatever. You just go back and forth between these three colors, slate gray, white, and buttermilk, and you, you mix them up. You dab them all together. You do want to dry in between coats at times just so that it's not uh, becomes just one big blob. If you do it wet on wet all the time, you're not going to see any definition of color. They're all going to blend together. So you do want to dry it in between layers now and then. And when you get it the way you like it, you just dry it and that's it. 